Hello! In today's video, I am going to be calibrating my monitor. That sounds pretty dull, but it's actually quite interesting, sort of. Anyway, let's roll titles! So in today's video, we are going to be calibrating my monitors and we're going to be using this, which is the Datacolor Spider X Pro. And uh, this little gadget basically helps you calibrate your monitor. Now you're probably wondering, why would I want to calibrate my monitor? Well, if you work in photography or video editing, like I do, your monitor might not be set up to show colors and brightness and all that kind of gubbins correctly. So what this does is it basically scans your monitor and flashes different colors at it and then calibrates it in the best possible way. So what you see on screen is as sort of accurate as possible. So when it comes to color grading videos or editing photos, the color is basically absolutely spot on. And uh, yeah, it's a cool little gadget. And I've been very lucky that the nice people at Datacolor have sent that to me to give it a go. And so hopefully in future, maybe my videos will look even better than they do already. It's not hard. So this Spider X Pro retails at around about the 159 pounds mark. So it's not cheap. So what I'm gonna do now is we'll get it unboxed quickly and then we'll plug it in and we'll have a play. Now, I don't know how much I can show of the actual changes on the monitor because that's quite hard to capture on video um, so i'll do my best but we'll just see how it goes and we'll play it by ear so uh, let's get it unboxed if you're enjoying this video then just give me a little subscribe and hit the notification bell and uh, that'll mean that you'll get notified as soon as new videos appear on my channel okay so it's a relatively small box I don't think there's masses in here, so that's okay, all right. Okay, so it's got a link to download the software. Let's pull that out of the way. Note about hazardous substances. I'm sure it's fine. This looks actually like it's upside down, but I don't think it is. There we go. Well, that is the product. Oh, it's fairly weighty, and it's got a long USB cable, I assume you know, because your computer might not be necessarily too close to your monitors. So uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. And I think this is the lens cover. Well, that's right. And this basically acts as a counterweight, so you kind of dangle it over your monitor. So what I think I'll do is I'll uh, show you my screen now and we can download the software and get it set up. Okay, so there we have it. Congratulations on your new Spider X. Very nice of them. <laughs> Right, so the first step is to warm up the monitor. Well, these monitors have been on for at least 30 minutes. Make sure no direct light is falling onto your display and reset the monitors to factory default if possible. They're not too far off factory defaults, if I'm completely honest. Please deactivate any auto brightness features on your monitor. That is quite important because some monitors have light sensors in and alter the picture depending on the light available in the room but to get the best kind of reproduction, you really need to make sure that's switched off. So now we need to download, install, and activate software. So uh, well, let's do that. We've got the Spider X Pro on Windows. So that is 137 meg download. Now this doesn't actually require a very powerful computer to run at all. It's sort of pretty much bare bones. So it doesn't matter whether you've got a really old computer or a really new one. It's, it seems to be to run on anything, so that's quite handy. Right, okay, so let's run the software. Do not plug the spider in prime to installing the software. That's good, we haven't. Okay, so that's just installing the software. Pretty standard stuff. It's gonna be interesting to see the difference between how both my monitors look. Actually, when uh, we do the calibration, I might have to kill the light behind me because that is shining directly onto the monitors. So uh, yeah, might go a little bit darker in here when we do that bit. So we've got to plug in our spider before launching the application, so we can do that. All right, so you can pull that through slightly. Because you've got to hang the 
this over the monitor. So this is side has got to be pressing onto the monitor and that's like a counterweight. So I'm just gonna give it a bit more length so it gets over the bezel of the monitor. Right, okay, so um, what we'll do now is we'll fire up the Spider software. There we go, Spider X Pro. So welcome to the Spider X Pro software. With this software, you'll be able to perform calibration of multiple display types, measure and monitor room light conditions to improve calibration results, compare before and after calibration results, verify accuracy of calibration and profiles, using options like check cal. I don't know what check cal is. Okay, so uh, it needs to activate our oh, bit of software, I guess, you know, it wants to make sure you're using legit software, but I don't know the exact circumstances where you'd want this software and not have that, but anyway. Two hours later. Da -da -da! There we go, software is loading. Got to go through the wizard now. Um, warm up, yes, I've allowed the monitor to warm up lighting condition so I think what I'm going to do is just turn off the light behind me because that's just shining straight onto the screen um, yes 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 display type so it's got my two monitors oh okay right so we need to put it on this one yeah okay so I'm going to put it on this one so you can see how it all works so next, it is a desktop, I don't know the model number. I think it's just got a standard LED. Okay, so it's gonna do a full calibration of my display. Okay, the room light is very high, yeah. Film and lights. Let's turn the lights down a little bit. There we go, let's try again. Still thinks it's very bright in here. I don't think it really is, but never mind. This is, this is Kip in the edit. I've just realized that when I was measuring the light in the room, it actually tells you to put the Spider X down on the desk and measure the light that way. So uh, I did mess that bit up. So I've had to go back and recalibrate both monitors because I balls that bit up. So yeah, ignore the bit about it being on the screen. Please start your computer after you click the next button on the screen. Okay, place Spider there. Right, okay. Right, I'd say the spider is there. So it's just flashing some colors onto the screen, as you can see, it's quite the disco. Just the brightness control until the indicator is in the middle. So rather annoyingly, my brightness control is covered up. Okay, so I click update. So I've got to make it less bright. Oh, hang on, I've got to wait for the menu to disappear because it's just confusing it. Oh, right, okay, so let's put it down a little bit this is a faff a few inches later yeah perfect it's in the green bar that's fine right continue let it do its thing now ultimately at the end of this we're gonna have some nicely calibrated monitors be interesting to see the difference between the two because i think it allows you to just switch between how it was before and how it is now I mean, aside from the faff with the brightness settings, but that's just the clunky interface of my monitor. It's not actually not been that difficult. Oh, I think we're nearly there. Please remove your spider and click finish. Okay, cool. Put the lens cap back on. It's very flashy, right, there we go. Okay, so that's the screen calibrated and that's what it was before. Hmm, there is a fair bit of difference actually. There you go, it works. So there we go, that is both my monitors calibrated and they both look really good. I mean, it's weird sort of switching between how it was and how it is now because it does look quite vastly different. It definitely will help me get better, more accurate colors, hopefully, when editing videos and photos and stuff like that. Is it worth 159 pounds? If you're doing a lot of stuff on your computer screen, you know that's part of your work then yeah definitely i think so um and you can sort of use you can calibrate your monitors like once a month or something to make sure they're still bang on but i mean if you're just your sort of everyday joe then i don't necessarily think it is worth it but i guess it's how much you use your screens and what you use them for um 
there you go, you can't, <laughs> there's not much else for me to say. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. If you have, then please do give it a thumbs up. You can give it a thumbs down if you like, if you haven't enjoyed it. It's all interaction, it all helps the channel, so either's fine. And uh, if you do like my videos, then you can join the channel. And if you join at the 4 dollars and above tier, then you get to see these videos before anyone else. So that's quite exciting. Um, I don't think there's gonna be any more videos from me this week and possibly the week after, because I'm a bit busy. But when they're up, if you join this channel, then you will be the first to see them. So uh, yeah, I think that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya!